Hey guys, I'm really excited to be able to share with you our brand new addition to our salted beet line. Ba -ba -da -ba! Clammy bits. I mean, these are just, oh my gosh. Look at that, they're just glazed in that salt. Perfectly preserved. I mean, I I've been working on creating this for about a year and a half now. And I feel like I finally perfected it to a point where I'm ready to share with you guys. I'm gonna be showing you how I like to use it, the different ways I like to use it. Let's get into some fishing. So this is no ordinary clam. Usually when you get clams at the grocery store, they're either really soft and mushy or they've got a belly full of guts and they're just not really easy to handle. We have solved that problem with this clam. Welcome to my bait station, AKA the back of my truck. I'm gonna show you what I like to do with these clammy bits. I've got a high-low rig here. I like to use them on high-low rigs, but I also like to use them on fish finder rigs. These are two very popular fishing rigs to use in general. These, these clams, are, are very special. They're from Canada and they're naturally this red like this. Fish go nuts for this color. They love this color, they love this smell. And something that I really like about it is it's pretty tough. This is a great bait stopper. This is a great bait itself. And it's also great to sit on the bottom. So what I like to do is I can either put the whole thing on a hook, but since I have a, uh, a high-low rig, I'm gonna cut it in half like this. Oh, look at that cut. I mean, just look at that. It's so fresh. What can resist that? And then I'll put a slab of fresh mullet because let's get real guys. Fresh bait is always gonna be the best. You always wanna have fresh bait if you can have it. Instead of putting a mega piece of fresh bait, put a half size and then put the rest clam. So they can smell and taste and feel that fresh bait, but also they can see that color. And this combination of baits has caught me so many fish over this past year. Fresh is best, but second best is freshly preserved. And that's exactly what I've done with these clams right here. All right, get ready for a pull. Please give me a fish. All right, so here's a big hook. I'm gonna put a big piece of mullet and there's enough room for a big piece of clam like this. All right, it's a waiting game now. Something bit it. Something went for that good good. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh snap! It's a speckled trout! Speck. What is it? It's a speckled trout. You haven't seen this one before. Not in person. Not in person, but look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. That's a nice one. That's a big whiting. Ooh. Nice. Oh, Ooh, he's spicy. Wow, he's strong. That's a big one, right? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I want to keep other fish. I'm going to let this one go. OK, let it go then. When we're camping for this many days, it's important for us to like be very specific about which fish we want to keep because we don't want anything to go to waste. But at the same time, we want to keep fish and we want to eat fish because we love eating fish. We yeah. love it. I can't keep them off the stuff. Look! Another one! A 
another big whiting. Very strong whiting. <laughs> All right, maybe we should keep what? one. This bait works really well. Look at that fin up here. They're called, there's a lot of different names for this fish. Comment below, what do you call this? Oh! <laughs> Comment, oh! <laughs> what do you call this fish? All right, pretty much as soon as I cast, I'm getting something hitting my bait. So we are just having a really great day fishing right now. But I want to remind you guys, it's not every single day that it's like really hot fishing. This happens to be a really great day and they happen to really want uh, the clams. And I'm glad that I brought them, but it, they don't always want the same thing every single time. Sometimes they want one bait, another time they don't want that bait at all, they want something completely different. And that happens with every single bait. That's just how fishing works. So if you go out there and you try it and you're not getting anything on one bait, it's not really, it's not necessarily because of the bait. It's because the fish just don't want it that day probably. Uh, there might not be fish there that day at all. Maybe, maybe the fish didn't even swim through. That's just how fishing goes. I'm not sure. Too soon to tell. It's a big ray. Holy crap! That's a huge ray. That's a big one, huh? at a time. That was what was stealing my clams. I was finding little chunks missing from my thing. Look at this guy. Look at his little nub nub tail. Perfect hook set too, look at that. My last line. Oh. <laughs> My other line. <laughs> ah.
Oh yeah. That's the clam combo. Bluefish. This is a great eating fish. I like to bleed it out, fillet it, cook it, and make it into bluefish cakes. I'm on! It jumped! Oh yeah! Look, he spit my claim out! Okay. Woo! Small but feisty. Things are really fun to catch. That one stole it, but it couldn't get this one. Look, look at how it bit everything else off, but left the clam on the other one. These are notorious bait stealers. Pretty tasty fish, but notorious bait stealers. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Holy sh this weak fish. Look, it bit my freaking clam. Ah! Wait, what is that? A huge weak fish. Oh my gosh, it was honestly so big I didn't recognize it. Holy crap. It bit the freaking clam. Hold it out some more. Oh my gosh. That is a legendary one. Oh my God, I gotta get a measurement on this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 20 and a half, oh no. 20 and a half inches. Holy Whoa. crap. Oh my gosh. I'll let a legend like that go. These clams are killing it. I'm catching so many fish, it's so fun. Aaron.
that one too. Oh, what? What'd you get? Let me see. <laughs> Kiss me. <laughs> Did you do it, sir? Yeah. Look at this. I want to show you this. This was salted last year, January 28th. This one, January 28th as well. One year later. And it's still fresh and nice and perfectly preserved, I'm still going to use this bait. All you really need to do is keep it in the refrigerator. That's all you got to do. Uh, you can keep it outside of the refrigerator for weeks at a time, but it doesn't like to be out and really hot. It gets cooked, just like anything else. You want to keep it relatively cool. satisfying day of fishing that was so many different species I was you know like every single time I go fishing I'm surprised by something at least this was a great surprise sometimes it's not such great surprises but today was a great day of fishing our bait worked really well I'm really happy that I ended up catching some fish so you can use less fresh bait and still catch really great fish the clams work really great as a as a, uh, a bait stopper, but also just really great bait in general. Something about that color, something about that smell, it attracts a lot of fish. I want you to give it a try and let me know how you like it. If you want to try them, you can get them on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. I just noticed that you have sand like all over your face. It's like crusted on your hat. Because I was catching so many fish and they were like <laughs> flopping all over the place. I'm like picking them up and they're like flopping and spraying me with salt and sand and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week.